everybody? I'm gonna talk about. Give me a second. All right, <laughs> little things, right? Okay, I want to talk about um, quantum science, um, thunderstorms and tornadoes, flux and set. Now these are terms that I I, I have learned to have to do with um, black hole black hole computers. I don't know how true or accurate that is. I only know that's what impression comes across time to me via uh, my faith that. I am quantum entangled in a device and of with myself in the compu in the future that um that way I can get data from thirty forty one et cetera bus et cetera knowing all times on the line um the best thing about that is um the satellite kind of proves that we have another way, so I'm grateful that I didn't have to put my brain in a device moving along now tornadoes thunderstorms we know that at any given time. Thunderstorms can come can come up when the conditions arise. Okay, so where was the thunderstorm? Where was it located? I can tell you a hundred percent where the tornado was located. I know it landed right there because it marred the ground right there, or the house or the structure of us, etc. God willing, not to destroy these things. What if one could control the location of these things by getting into the chaos? Cloud sculpting is coming, guys. We're going to get there. We've got demonstrations. We call them UFOs. They look like cubed clouds. That's my faith. That's what I believe. That's simply what I believe. So one day we might have a rose instead of a tornado. Be like, oh, there's a tornado. Let's go watch it. And it would be like, we'd pretty much be like advertising what we can do to it. The thing is, I'm totally getting off track of what I was going to talk about. We know that the tornado touches down on the ground like it simply absolutely sets down on the ground where it mars the ground. We know that the thunderstorm was there in likely the southwest corner of the storm. We know that the storm is much bigger than that location, but it's kind of like the difference between what focused. It's definitely focused right there. The energies of the storm are all focused Thankfully, not the entire storm, <laughs> but that little part of it touching down or being sucked up, rather, given how it really is. It's the condensation of the clouds where where the pressure is, is the same as up there where the flat part is. The pressure is so high. No, the pressure is so low that as it gets lower and lower, as it focuses, that 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 condensation comes down lower and lower and lower and lower until it touches as low as it does even on the ground like fog. Um, I don't know what the millibars or the mercury level would be, but one could assume probably in the eights. Um, the gift of that is it's not a total vacuum, by the grace of God. Um, let's see, what else? That, I mean, more will be revealed. There's probably always an anomaly, but I'd not do that by a well of faith. Quantum field effect. I know that when one talks across time, and is quantum entangled with themselves and or a computer by will of my faith again. I say I know, that's what I mean. Um, our quantum field effect is enhanced greatly. Not necessarily by the distance, but if you all those times quantum entangled are having the same opinion, it's the same thing as variable X people saying the same thing. We know that when one uses a certain illegal substance that the conditions are what's written by the by the system i won't say by the but f by known science and um like for instance it's kind of funny because when i was a little kid i do apologize for going off subject noting that i was talking about flux and set well i'll, I'll wrap it around and make it make sense okay i'll try some drugs, all drugs when I was a little kid were known to kill brain cells, even alcohol. That's what we were told. This shit kills your brain. Not true. Not true. Eventual methods, I believe, eventual things, if one consistently does it, the brain adapts a certain way to go along with that substance's use. But one can reattain the natural state of their brain pre-drug.
It is not a permanent setting. It is important for those of you who are, are, you, are users or were users of substances, either illicit or just inebriants in general, at least possibly acknowledge the fact that the people that have been telling you that the stuff kills your brain cells had never touched the stuff in the first place. Just like even there are people I can talk about. So I'd like to go on and do another thing. Um, wrapping that around to tornadoes. All right. Focus versus uh, nebulousness. So when one focuses, and the difference between a particle and a wave. I believe there's ways on the way that we might be able to see this in the same light. But um, noting light. Given things can be made particulate, I guess I have to learn more about the science. I'm sorry, I'm a little uneducated. When it comes to the light stuff, I only know that I have faiths. I have grown to understand that we have what I've known as strongholds or anchor points, substantiation points along the lines of the subjects at hand, whatever the subject may be at hand. Given I've been mentioning illicit substances, the one substance that I was most, um, there are a few that are probably, there are a few that are known to have caused lesions in the brain or had been purported to via the internet, via uh, scathingly obscure sources. Given I don't know who Dr. Olney is or Dr. Only, or maybe somebody was saying they're only lesions. I don't know, but it was Dr. Olney or Dr. Olney's Only's Only's lesions, a o n l e y or o l n e y, with respect to lesions in the brain, and they were supposed to be vacuoles, about two inches down from back here in the posterior cerebral cortex, that would appear as if like spit bubbles, where the brain tissue had been. And this was known most specifically with dissociatives, specifically one over-the-counter one, there are two, actually, DXM, dextromethorphan hydrobromide, and nitrous oxide. Uh, but uh, also the aerocyclohexylamines, uh, PCB fencyclidine, and uh, ketamine, the other horse tranquilizer, given they both were in that format, very much that truth. Um, or cat tranquilizer, as ketamine is often known as. Um, it's really for bigger animals, though. More will be revealed about the substances, because one can also see that there had not been established truly an overdose-level value for even ketamine. But then again, I don't know enough about it, because I've never taken this stuff, so forgive my ignorance. Um, I do want to say this. One can recover from all those things. One can recover and show that they may never have even looked as if they've ever taken it before. So what doesn't kill you makes you stronger is a wonderful philosophy that I would love to see as a scientific law. Because there's a gift in things known down the road that I will touch on in time, but more will be revealed. Okay, so... Focus versus obscurity. A tornado touching down on the ground mars the ground the thunderstorm was there. If it doesn't touch down, was the thunderstorm there? Well, yeah. How do we know? Well, there was thunder and there was rain and lightning and because it was a thunderstorm. What if there are storms that don't have any thunder but have plenty of rain but certainly are considered most, most, most like a hurricane given cyclones? Because those don't have thunder. They're too organized. Well, is not a thunderstorm organized? So what's the story there? But hurricanes don't always have never any lightning. They do often have some lightning. But it is worth noting that they don't have as much as a thunderstorm, especially per cubic foot or cubic whatever you mean, volumetric area noted. Um, let's see. I really want to get on to sprites. I really want to get on to blue jets. Here's what I believe. 
if you go to channel all love, I get it. I go farther into this, further into this, pardon me. But I believe that that is a matter substantiation thing. That nitrogen and or oxygen and or even flecks of metals other than gases, maybe in gas phase, because it's in the atmosphere and it was created by something that had it well above its boiling point, even gold, even a metal like tungsten. So... Calling stuff alluvial is kind of inappropriate. It's not inappropriate. And didn't we say on Jupiter that the rain, that the lightning was creating diamonds, like graphene diamonds, like flat coins of diamonds? Well, we don't know for sure, but we created them in the lab that way. Good job, guys. That's awesome. It's there because you did that. So there are diamonds floating probably at the bottom of the hydrogen oceans. Black metal. Pretty stuff. A black silver. It's really pretty. Look at look at it on the videos on Jupiter. More will be revealed. I just might be, you know, wrong about it. But it looked like a black metal. It's kind of cool. Probably very magnetic. But then what do I know? I don't know. Forget how I speak these things. There are only a child within me that just wants to say, look what I can do sometimes. Um, I do hope to make videos that are more inclined towards getting to the point. Um, but I believe thunderstorms and tornadoes are a very quantum state. And one can see the nebulousness of a thunderstorm, meaning we don't know exactly where the heart of this thing is. But when a tornado touches down, we know exactly where it was. And the same thing with a lightning bolt. We know exactly where that was. Especially when it hits something that, that we know of. So if you happen to see stuff transtemporally, if we actually ever get to, given we do, um, using quantum sciences and multi... Oh, yeah. Multi-circuit... Okay, multi... Multi-chip, multi-channel per chip, multi-binary per channel per chip... Even singular use of each binary per channel per chip, but noting multi-binary can give a whole other level of understanding given multi-channel, given multi-chip, multi-channel, multi-binary. It adds dimensions to that. And then multi-state per quantum system. So you have laser quantum stuff, you have chip quantum stuff, you have all these, and we all have crystal cycles involved in time shortly, noting plasma crystals as well, given crystals can exist in any state. So then electron crystals might be something in the uh, Bose-Einstein condensate, given that it rhymed, I don't doubt it. But then more will be revealed, because I realize it's just coming out of my mouth and could be just frivolous, at least chivalrous kindness, but maybe crazy. So anyway, um, thank you all from a long, far back away, <laughs> the way, way back, because I reach out. I hope and pray that those in my time can see <sighs> that there are good things even in me. This ex-con, ex-criminal, nonsense-inducing person of old grew up and changed her ways, screenings, a lot of criminality. I wrote a book about it. It's called Crystallized. I enjoy the fact that I can say this. So if you're a criminal, tell me about it. Write it down. It's pretty cool of you to do so. Thank you, James Frey, for inspiring me to write a book, too. Thank you, Cupcake Brown, for the same, given your book was very likely absolutely true. Just like mine is. And I skipped out on a lot of details, so I apologize. I was racing against a voice in my head saying, hurry the fuck up, or essentially I'm going to beat you to it. It wasn't hurry the F up, but it was, um, all right, I'm going to, I'm going to, it was something like I'm going to race you to it. Because if they wrote the story before me, theirs was a fiction, while mine was a fact. So anyway, it took me two weeks to write that book. I had a lot of fun doing it, and, um, I hope to get more detailed in it with the people that I tell the story to when the time comes. Because there's a lot more stories to tell. And, um... I gotta get the science stuff off the shelf. It's in my head. Once we get this thing to a computer, I can focus on love instead. 
Because love is where all this stuff came from. If it weren't for the person to even show up on a TV screen, I would not even be here right now. Whether whether dead or locked up, very much these two. Or insane even. Uh, actually, not, not likely on that one. Uh, despite the fact that I'm talking about hearing voices in my head. I probably wouldn't have the lovely voice in my head if she didn't show up on the TV screen and show me that I could be me just as well and just as happily and just as perfectly, given how I said if I could do that by 10%, if I could even be 10%, I needed to know that I could at least be something that I could look at in the mirror. And um, some part of me just didn't do it. I'm alive. That was part of it. I transitioned because someone else showed me that it's the best way for me. Simply because I could see genuine joy upon their frame, even between the scenes. Stuff that, between the words and the scenes, not between the scenes. I didn't see between the scenes because it cut. So I get more will be revealed, but I don't know what. Love is a very real thing. And um, I believe in it. And I believe God equals love at times. Because I don't believe God is only love. Because, you know, how dare I limit God to one thing when limitless is what God is. And yeah, I'm talking God and I didn't even believe in this. So just, just hold on for miracles, guys. Because if I can do it, every one of you can. I was a guaranteed loser. I, it's been written. My DNA is on file in two different states by the grace of these two states and God, of course, God, but you know, I believe in God because I believe in love and I believe both are, both are permanent, both are absolutes, both are, both are things that we won't ever lose. And so then we have family in the very same frame, noting family goes on forever too. Because we know that we come from Adam and Eve, but even before that, too, there was a cell that came out of the tide pools, crystallized as life does. But who put that cell there? We thought aliens did. Maybe we did. Maybe we did. Maybe life decided, okay, I'm perfect. I'm going back to start again to make it more so. So we evolve all the time. I believe that. I've evolved during this recording, even. So I just want you to know, if you stuck on it and listened to this so much, I love you. And if you didn't, I still love you. And I want you to know that love is always here. You'll always have a home in me, specifically to that one person that will eventually know who she is. Um, ABC. So I got to take it easy on that. So I know slow and steady wins the race. And I know that... Um, Love is my base state here. So there's no rush. I get that I'm older, but uh, da, 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 da. I'm only in my 40s, dude. It runs different in my family. So we get we have healthier kids as we get older. It's a fact. I can prove it. All right. I love you all. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. You know, kindly, it would be cool if you could be kind. I get that I look a fool. I look crazy. I get that a lot of stuff has been... I don't really demonstrate exactly how difficult this has been. But it hasn't been as difficult as I am now making it sound either. So, um... One day I'll get to UNCC when I have a car or when I have somebody delightful enough to drive me there and or when I have an appointment. <laughs> so all I have to do is bring my abstracts on electron propulsion, light sails, and um, the black hole journey with our satellite we send to the center of the galaxy <laughs> transtemporally so we can witness what it brings, what life brings. We get to see the end of time and everything. And we get to see where we effed up and say, okay, if there was a war going on that way, what caused it? All right, we can fix that before it happens. All right, I agree. Given we're a family and I only love everybody and I'm sure everybody could say the same. All you got to remember is there's no such thing as a bad baby. 
If you don't believe that, man, there's no such thing as a bad fetus. Find the root cause and then go from there. Crystallize back up. Since I know that I was a good baby, I had to go back down to toddler, I think. <laughs> Thank you for the living judgment day. It's been a journey. Love always. And all that. <laughs> Very blessed infinite. Hallelujah, Lee. Cheers.